guest today is Mr. Lindsey Hunter. Lindsey Hunter plays 17 years in the National Basketball Association. He has just now been uh, named the coach, head coach, basketball coach at uh, Mississippi Valley State University in Itabina, Mississippi. Uh, Henry Cheatham is my name. I'm a Jackson boy, so and you know you you're in the family somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, Mr. Sam Hunter. You, I knew your great grand, your 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 grand, your yeah. great your great grandparents. Granddad. <laughs> yeah, I no, knew, that's my granddad. Yeah, your granddaddy. And I knew your daddy. You know Lindsay, and I knew your uncles and all that. I lived on Trinity uh, Street. You guys were on Gentry, you know. So how's it yeah, going? I'm doing good. How you doing? I'm just trying to get situated so I can. Uh, Get all my stuff moved down, get somewhere to live, and all that stuff, as well as recruiting. Uh huh. Now you're moving from Buffalo, right? No, I'm in Detroit. Detroit. Oh, you're moving. Okay. I've been based out of Detroit for. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> so now you're moving back home, or this is just a temporary thing? Well, you know, it just depends. I hope, hopefully, it's. Uh... No, no. What I meant by that is uh, Detroit. Still, gonna, you know, you're gonna go back home, or Detroit. And... Uh... Probably not. No, 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 no. I'm tired of this cold weather. <laughs> I know what you mean, man. But hell, I, I, I stuck around. You know, I should have left out of it. But hell, I did. You know, things happen. You know. Yeah. Right, right, right. I'm tired uh, of this cold weather. It's got the best of me. Yeah, it's uh, pretty rough. You, you, I agree with you. But anyway, welcome to the show. I appreciate you uh, participating here. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about you back in the swag. Yeah, back, back in the swag. Back where it all started, man. Huh? Yeah, and uh, are you glad to be back in the SWAC, or are you just glad to be back and continue to be in basketball, right? Absolutely, absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, it's uh, been the love of my life for a long time, so um, I just thank God I've been able to do and experience a lot of things because of basketball, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, and uh, I know now you were born in Utica. How did you get to Jackson? You went, you moved to Jackson, so well, you went well, to Murray? Well, no, I was, well, I was born in Jackson. We actually moved out to Utica when I got a little, when I got probably middle school okay. you know, probably before then yeah we moved out to we, yeah we moved out to jackson probably when i was eighth or ninth grade something like that. we moved to utica i mean but i was born and raised in jackson okay that's what i was thinking and wonder yeah yeah you sound good with that level right there now don't lose that energy keep it up there okay all right <laughs> all right and uh, now uh, uh your i already asked you was that now you now you played in the swag and you're not back in the swag and uh you're going to have to run up against your old teammates there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you know, it's just like you know, basketball always kind of brings you full circle. When I played, I played for the Pistons the first eight or nine years of my career. And after that, you know, I kind of moved around. And, you know, it was always, uh, uh, you know, coming back to play some of those, some of my uh, old teams and old chases is uh, just part of it, you know. Yeah, that's, that's the way it goes. I agree with that. Right. That, you know, that, that, that's how... You know, competition is. You get to sometimes you have to uh, go against you know people in places that you've been before. But it, but it's all good in competition. You know, I I think you you know we we get to that the that's the great part of being uh, in sports. Is you you get to separate you know the competing part from the other aspect of it. Yeah, you know, it's one thing I tell folks. I say you know the last great basketball team is the Detroit Pistons. I mean team. You guys had a hell of a right, team right. there, man. I mean, your coaches and all of you guys, y'all all participated. That was great stuff, you know, great basketball. Should have had three championships. Oh, yeah. I know the L.A. stole oh, it. Oh, man, I agree. I agree. <laughs> you know, yeah. it, it's just, you know, I, I, I thank God I was able to experience that and know what it was like to be on a team that really considered one another as family. And that taught me a lot of uh, valuable lessons about, you know, the way that a team can be constructed, you know. Not only do we, do we have talent, but, but we genuinely cared about each other and we genuinely held each other accountable. And when you have teams that can police themselves, man, that's that's the makings of having a really special team. Yeah, I agree with that, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, you have you uh, got your, your schedule already for Valley or not? You, haven't, uh, you guys haven't got it for the year. Well, we're working on it uh, as we speak, so we're we're going to finalize some things hopefully tomorrow and, and try to get everything situated uh, so we'll know uh, what what our year is going to shape up and look like, uh, you know. So, uh, but but the biggest part of it is, is uh, trying to finalize uh, our roster. You know, we we got some spots that we're trying to fill and some players that we have targeted, and we really been lucky to get some super talented guys, man, and that's what I'm really excited about. And they're great people. I think every 
individual that we've signed, um, you know, when we do our background work on them and just talk to people around them, they're, they're good people, and, and that's important to, to us. Have you, have you got your staff all put together yet, or are you still working on that? Yeah, I've got our staff, uh, you know, got my guys already. Uh, they're they're uh, going to go in and get the paperwork done and try to get them started so we can all get that moved in and uh, get to work, man. Um, you know, I, I hired my old, my old <laughs> guard coach in college, which is uh, uh, Al Perry, okay. um, who, uh, you know, his son right now is uh, going through the, the draft process. He's working out for different teams, so. Coach Perry's been in my life since uh, since I got to Jackson State, uh, and he was actually at the draft with me, so he helped me through the process as well. And he's a uh, you know very experienced coach. He's been through all you know every situation that I, that probably will will come about. He's been through it, mm-hmm. so you know he's really seasoned in that that, that aspect. Uh, bringing another coach in, Coach Marco, who's uh, a East Coast guy. Um, Who's very experienced and a great recruiter. I mean, this guy can this guy can recruit from anywhere. Um, and and uh, bringing in a, another uh, a world-renowned coach who's a great uh, player developer, uh, Real Vance. Uh, you know, he's developed a, a number of NBA players and a number of college and high school guys. Um, so uh, I'm really happy with uh, the staff, and and I think we're gonna be able to work together and and. Um, you know, hopefully do some great things uh, in the immediate future. Yeah, this sounds good, you know. Uh, are you in the Hall of Fame in the basketball, uh, Jack, uh, Mississippi? Are you in the Mississippi Hall of Fame? I'm not sure. Someone called me that. I know I'm in the Swag Hall of Fame. I think I, I think someone was calling to get information um, about that for me this coming up year. Um, so I, I, I guess it, uh, it's it's. Uh, uh, possible that I, I, I'm not. I, I think so. I, I thought I was in it, but I'm, maybe I'm not. <laughs> well, if you didn't show up for that chicken, then you ain't in it. <laughs> <laughs> right, if you go right. there and got that chicken, say, yeah, give me my chicken. <laughs> you know, catfish <laughs> or whatever, you know, then you know you're in it. I, yeah. I just remember something like that happening um, years ago. I had to go to a banquet um, in Mississippi, but, uh, but I'm not sure. I got you. Okay. Um, yeah. My mom always knows all the inside information about everything that goes on. Yeah, I, I, I'm glad you mentioned your mother. My condolences to you in the passing of your father. Oh, thank you, thank yeah. you. Yeah, that, uh, that was uh, a really hard time in my life. I think everybody knows how close uh, my dad and, and uh, you know I was, and um, you know, and I just you know, it's not a day that goes by. I don't think about all the things that he taught me, and mm. you know how close basketball really brought us. And, um, you know, it it, uh, it was it was just a, a situation where it was just tough for me at the time. I was at the University of Buffalo, and um, when that happened that summer, it just it, it kind of made me step back, and that's kind of why I took a took a year off and kind of stepped back. I didn't go back to Buffalo, um, but I just needed that space for myself and my family, you know. Yeah. And um, and um, you know, and, and I. 90% of the things I do, man, it's because of my father and, and the things, that the, the lessons he taught me and um, just how close we, we became as, as I got older. And, and I always tell people all the time, a lot of times as a kid, you don't understand what your parents are, are trying to get you to understand at the time. Right. But when you grow older, you learn to appreciate it. And, and you look back and you thank them even more because you realize that they were steering you in the right path. You know, and I thank God for my dad every day. Yeah, I saw him at a couple of reunions ago. That's the uh, last time I saw him. I didn't make the last year and the year before. Yeah, maybe maybe it was a year, two years, but two or three years ago I saw, made the reunion. I did see him there, yeah. Yeah. Um, next question I want to uh, ask you is, uh, now, do you, you're coaching in the NBA, you did. How do you feel about that? Did you, you think you got a fair shot? Well, at Phoenix, and I don't, I don't think you did, but you tell me how you feel about it. <laughs> well, you know, we, we we know when we get into this this business how it is, especially for us black coaches. You know, uh, we got to go in and make a miracle out of uh, a molehill. You know, yeah. <laughs> in order for us to 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 keep some security, so I, I knew what it was. I I I, uh, I thought I did the best job with what we had and, and the situation at hand. Um, unfortunately, our, our, um, 
general manager who was Lance Blank. He didn't, you know, they didn't uh, retain him. So, and he's the guy that brought me there. So, you know, uh, things work like that at times, especially when you're trying to establish yourself as a young coach. Oh, yeah. Um, but the experience was great for me. I learned a lot. And right. I thank God that I got to do that. Uh, I got thrown in a fire right away. And it really just showed me that I really was ready for it. You know? Mm-hmm. Um, because people can say and tell you, oh, you know, you're not ready, but until you experience it and go through it, you know, no one truly knows. And that taught me that, uh, man, I'm ready for this. I, I, I've been, you know, through a lot, through enough situations, and I've been around basketball my entire life that I, I, I'm ready for it. Yeah, I know you are now. You, 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 you've, uh, you you make you, you traveled a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Hey, right. hey, you've been around, I guess, some pretty good coaches, too, probably. So that's always a good thing, oh. you know? Oh, absolutely. I've been, I've been blessed to, be, to have been around some of the, the greatest, uh, you know, uh, starting with my, my coach at Jackson State, Andy Stogner. Uh, and even going back further, uh, Dave Whitney. <laughs> you know, uh, those two guys alone, man, were, were instrumental in, 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 you know, teaching me the, the foundational things of basketball, you know. Um, and, and then being able to be under, you know, guys like Larry Brown, uh, Phil Jackson, uh, Mark Jackson, um, man, it, it uh, you, you can't teach some of those lessons that I learned from those guys without being there and without uh, being around them on a day-to-day basis. And, and I got to do that. And, man, that, that taught me a lot. Now, why did you uh, leave the Braves and become a Tiger? I know it's good to be a Tiger. You know, we're tough. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, you know, they, they fired Coach Whitney after my freshman year. And, um, you know, after that happened, I was like, man, he's the reason I came here, you yeah. know. Um, and um, I, I sat down with him and my mom and dad, and we talked about it. And uh, we thought it was best if I, you know, went elsewhere. And uh, and, and to, to be honest with you, ending up at Jackson State was kind of by, kind of like by default because, I had enrolled in school there, and I was paying my own way, just waiting to see where, you know, where I kind of wanted to go. And um, I was talking to a lot of different schools at the time while I was sitting out at Jackson State because um, I, I was freshman of the year in the conference. And then I, I was just sitting out there. I was talking to uh, Ben Job. I, I was talking to uh, who else? Uh, U, U, UAB and, and a couple of other schools. And um, when Coach Stogler saw me, uh, playing in the gym one day, he asked about me, and the people told him who I was, and he, you know, asked could he meet with me, and I told him, yeah, you know, meet with my dad, talk to my dad, and after my dad talked with him, you know, kind of talked to me about it, and, uh, you know, the rest is history. We end up staying. Mm. You know, that's, you know, you keep mentioning something that's very important to a lot of these kids. They don't seem to think it, though, I don't, um, and they haven't. It's not by their choice. You keep talking about daddy. You keep talking about daddy. You know, and that's a very good anchor in, uh, you know, young men and women lives, you know. Right. Well, well, I look at it, and, and, and that's one thing that uh, as a recruiter, as a coach and a recruiter, I tell the parents all the time, um, you know, it's a blessing for me to be able to mentor your kid and, and be a, a father figure in his life because that's yeah. the whole idea of coaching them. Um, you know, they're there for more than just basketball. I know ultimately they want to play basketball and be the best that they want to be, but it's up to me um, when they're away from home to be an extension to their family. Right. And that's how I look at it. And every family, every kid that I recruit, I talk to their parents and I tell them, welcome to our family, because that's what it is now. You know, um, I, I being, in the, being in the business of it, I, I've seen coaches approach it, you know, several different ways. Um, my approach is totally different, you know, um, and that's okay because I feel like it works for me. I, I'm, I'm a bit more open. I don't care if parents call me and ask me about their kids because I'm going to invite them to because I'm going to be calling them if I need help getting something through to the, the, the kids, right. <laughs> you know. So I, I think that line, of, of, uh, of, uh, that line has to stay open and that line has to be, you know, welcomed like a, a family. And, and and I will I'll never stop using that, you know, as, as a tool and, and as the way I recruit and, and the way I you know do business. Yes, yeah, that's and that and that's the way it should be. I tell you, you know, you see a lot of these kids out here and they just don't know what to do once they uh, get out there and 
it's just tough on them, you know. You end up, uh, you know, getting into trouble when, uh, wait a minute, all you had right. to do was listen to some uh, of your coach over there, somebody, hopefully he's the right, right kind of coach for you. Right, right, mm. right. And, and, you know, and it's all about building trust in the relationship with those kids, and um, we'll work hard to do that, and we'll work hard to show each one of, you know, our, our players that, man, we care more about you as a person than right. we do as a player. You know, because we know if you grow as a person, then, you know, the, the other, everything else will happen for you. You know, one thing, you know, you have to, you can't see it until you get there as a teenager and then as a young adult. Hell, we don't realize that if we don't go too far wrong, we might be able to, re, you know, re, recuperate ourselves, you know. Right. But we think if we're going to be 18 or 28 forever. <laughs> yeah, you know, we don't yeah, realize yeah. we got to move forward, you know. Yeah, absolutely. That, they, I, I, I call those, that when, when kids are at those ages, they think they're invincible. Nothing can stop them, nothing can, you know, deter them from doing what they want to do, you know, but but they find out fast that, no, you're not so invincible and you don't know everything. <laughs> right, that's exactly right. Well, okay, i tell you what, unless you got anything finally you would like to say here, and because uh, I will be putting this up on my YouTube channel, and uh, you give me your email so I can at least uh, you'll get a link to it. Absolutely. I'm, I'm just, uh, I'm excited about getting started at the alley. Uh, I'm, I'm excited about, you know, my coaching staff. I'm excited about all the players that, that have uh, committed to us and signed with us. Um, and, man, we look forward to, to having a great year uh, right off the bat, you know. Uh, it's going to be trials and tribulations, but I, I really think with the group that we have and things come together the way that I feel like they, they will, um, and we'll, we'll have a great season, and, and that will be just the beginning for us. All right, okay. All right, thank you very much. Um, well, I don't know, we're getting a, so a hit here. Maybe we can have a little power out of it. I don't know, I just saw my lights dim a couple of times, <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah. yeah absolutely. Well, anyway, Coach, you, you take. my number. Give me a call. All right, Coach, you take t uh, good All care right. of yourself and a lot of luck to you. All right, thank you very much, sir.